On the topic of cancer, there's a blood test that could potentially save millions of lives, a way to detect cancer much earlier than before, and yes, all it takes is a blood sample rather than a far more invasive biopsy. Tonight, our business and tech reporter Scott Budman takes us into the Stanford lab behind the potential breakthrough. Inside this Stanford lab, they're working on a way to detect cancer as early as possible by sequencing billions of DNA molecules from bodily fluids in a single experiment. We know that the chance of curing cancer is much higher if we detect it early. Dr. Max Deal showed us around. He's leading a team working to find cancer before a patient has signs he or she has it by taking samples of blood or urine. Since biological fluids like blood or even urine can uh, integrate signals from all over the body, uh, they're ideal sources for looking for evidence of cancer, uh, even when we don't even know a patient may have cancer. Early detection can lead to much earlier treatment. Also, the test can tell if someone who has been fighting cancer is cancer-free so they can stop their medication sooner. Now, since this is Stanford and the test involves blood, there are inevitable questions about the failure of Theranos. Dr. Deal says these samples are much larger and able to show results. We actually have to use, you know, tablespoons of blood, multiple tablespoons of blood, multiple tubes of blood, not, not pinpricks of blood. And, and therefore you have enough to actually detect. Correct. Enough to detect earlier than ever before. At Stanford, Scott Budman, NBC, Bay Area News.